Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So in this video, we are going to cover the interview experience of JEDES. So regarding that, I have invited Ashish on my YouTube channel. Currently, he is working in JEDES on the profile of Data Analytics Associate. So we'll be knowing more about him, more about his journey in this video. So make sure to watch the complete video. But before proceeding further to the video, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys do consider subscribing. So yeah, I believe that's all from my side, Ashish. You can start with your introduction. Thank you, Soumya, for inviting me here. I'm very glad uh, to have been here and sharing my ZS experience. Uh, so uh, for viewers, I'm Ashish Singh, currently working as Decision Analytics Associate at ZS. Uh, so I have joined ZS quite recently, eight months. Uh, ago and uh, prior to that I was working with uh, uh, Suzuki Motors Gujarat uh, for a span of like uh, 10 months or so and uh, I got recently passed out in 2020 only from HPTI Kanpur uh, that's uh, brief about me yeah thank you okay first of all congratulations I believe that whoever is watching it will be helpful for them so can we know that this opportunity was on campus or off campus for you? Okay, so as I was, as I mentioned basically, I was working with Suzuki Motors Gujarat. Then uh, I got to know from my one of my uh, uh, batchmate only that ZS is actively hiring. Mm -hmm. And this, this opportunity I got off campus only through uh, that people connection, that uh, my colleague connection basically. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what about the rounds? Like how many rounds were there? Can you just name them? Yeah. So ZS basically has uh, four rounds. Uh, first is aptitude rounds. In there, uh, in that aptitude rounds as well, there are some phases. Like uh, uh, there are more questions on aptitude than video monitored round. And the second round will be a case study round in which there are two phases. First, you have to solve the case. And then the second is uh, case study interview. After that, there is a HR round or which we say EBI or behavioral round that is more of uh, uh, like uh, HR questions will be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are the rounds. Thanks for mentioning that. Can you please elaborate a little bit so that we can get an idea, right? So like how to prepare and what was the difficulty level, what kind of questions were asked for all the rounds you can specify. Yeah, sure. Uh, so in aptitude round basically uh, as I mentioned there is like three phases uh, that is one after another so in the first phase uh, you will be asked questions around uh, the verbal ability reasoning mm -hmm. and uh, more of a quantitative aptitude questions mm -hmm. and in the second phase of the round that is a video monitored round mm -hmm. and the level of difficulty of those questions is like medium to like more hard as well mm -hmm. so uh, a person who has good aptitude and uh, good uh, reasoning abilities he can solve easily and if a person don't have that also they can prepare for that and they can solve easily yep so after that there is a view round. that round is basically uh, you will be uh, given a case scenario and you have to solve that case scenario and there is a questions like uh, MCQ type of questions and that is a business scenario basically so there are some uh, M MCQ type of questions like eight to nine questions and uh, it might be there that you find all the answers of those MCQ questions are correct but there is always a correct one out of that so that was the little tricky part and after that another round is there that is also video monitored round in which they will ask guesstimates. Guesstimates are nothing but like uh, you have given some scenario based on that you have to calculate or you have to find a number related to that. Like if I say uh, how many flights that are ta uh, taking off from uh, Lucknow airport currently. So you need to find that number basically or how many laptops that are present currently in Lucknow or uh, per se UP or uh, maybe in any city as well. So that are the guesstimates. So in that round, you will be asked those guesstimates. And uh, after guesstimates, there are some personal questions as well. 
in which you will be given some like 15 to 20 second to uh, think about that question uh, then you have to answer in one and a half minutes so this is all about the aptitude round that is the first round of uh, this process uh, after you clear the aptitude round you will be uh, getting a call from HR or an invitation over mail from HR for the second round uh, in my case this was a telephonic round basically in the telephonic round what will they do they'll again ask you some guesstimates and uh, some personal HR questions and more elaborate on uh, the salary stat stack up or the compensation they are providing uh, so that is like the second round after that the third round is a case study round so this is the most important and most critical round uh, uh, most of the peoples generally like uh, they face difficulty here only because uh, in any consulting firm uh, the case solving and the communication skills are very much required so in this case study round uh, there are two phases again so in first phase uh, they will give you a case and what that case is I'll just brief you about that uh, that case is also a business scenario basically you have given some data around that uh, some uh, graphical data, some graphical interpretations and everything. So you need to solve those four or five questions that are related to that business scenario based on the data that is given. And you have to come up with an approach that is, uh, uh, that may be according to you the best approach. Okay. So that is the case study. And you need to solve this case study in the first phase. Uh, uh, on your rough paper whatever you have and then you have to upload that on their portal so this is the first phase of case uh, case study interview and after doing this uh, on that day only you will be getting a mail regarding the case interview that's an one hour case interview that is scheduled uh, so uh, they will be more drilling here in the case interview there is a pe there is a person like uh, say the manager from that firm so they are very uh, means they are having a good designation there so they are working like uh, from six seven years or so like that so in this round they will be more drilling and more uh, uh, drilling you on the approach that you followed to solve that case study uh, yep they will be asking the questions around that so this is the second phase of case study round and they may also ask guesstimates and puzzles uh, I would say that guesstimates and puzzles are can be asked uh, across all the rounds whatever are there okay so this is the case round coming to the final round that is fourth round basically so that is you can say behavioral round HR round EBI FET round that kind of names are given to this round uh, so in this what will happen uh, senior person who is like uh, a principal who or a partner in the firm they will be asking you the questions related to your CV whatever you have written on your CV and basically you should prepare that CV as well means as much as possible and whatever true is there you can write there only and uh, uh, they will be asking some questions around CV then why you want to join ZS what you want to join consulting firm uh, what uh, uh, you are doing a really good in your core company why you want to move your career to a consulting firm so these kind of questions will be asked there basically uh, and they also may be asking you the guesstimates and puzzles so all the unstructured problem so unstructured i mean to say these are guesstimates and puzzles and some brain teasers so those will be asked uh, across all the rounds yeah so these are the four rounds that were in CS process I must say that you have elaborated so well uh, I'm, I believe whoever is watching they, they must have got a proper idea regarding the rounds uh, so was there any negative marking as well like for the aptitude part you mentioned so there was any negative marking also no there is no negative marking basically but the questions are bit tricky so the time is constraint is also there so the difficulty level is good so one thing is that you need to uh, attempt question as much as possible and with 
correct solution as well so that was it okay so i must say the process was pretty interesting and i believe you must have prepared a lot for that so what were the resources you followed for uh, the preparation yep so this is a very good question <laughs> mostly the people uh, they will be waiting for this only ki what are the rounds and what are the resources they can leverage to crack this interview yep so i'll be sharing that uh, for aptitude round i went through i basically googled as well so uh, geeks and geeks and prep insta are the best sources that you can leverage for your aptitude round and for the guesstimates and the puzzles for the puzzles geek for geek, geek for geek is good you can solve uh, 100 to 200 puzzles that are available on their site and uh, for uh, this guesstimate thing you can uh, br- uh, you can search it you can leverage google uh, this youtube as well there is a channel from i am lucknow consulting club so there they have provided some uh, guesstimates and everything around that and the most trickiest one that is the case part so case study round for that i have prepared it thoroughly uh, from uh, various sources uh, there is a book called case in point so it's a very good book you may find that it's uh, you know it's a boring one or kind of thing when you read first through it but i have read two three times that and that is available uh, on scribit.com i'll provide the link as well uh, uh, if that is required uh, and also uh, there is a site that is consulting uh, case studies 101.com kind of thing so you will get get some case studies there as well that are like 7 to 10 free case studies basically so that is also one of the good sources uh, and uh, for the case study as well uh, you will find some cases on um, mckenzy and uh, bcg sites so the case study can be also attempted from there for a practice purpose so these were the resources for the uh, rounds like aptitude then case study and guesstimates and puzzles hope this help yeah definitely yeah. Uh, so okay so you mentioned this part as well uh, i believe guys so those who are watching please follow those resources they will be helpful for you uh, i think that you have spent a good amount of time in the company so can you please let us know about the work uh, environment work culture so yeah yeah so uh, as you mentioned that uh, i have a good amount of time that i spent there in gs around 8 months uh, i find it very helpful here because the people here are they are very sharp minded and because it's a consulting firm you need to have good uh, problem solving skills uh, communication skills and everything so there is a very steep curve of growth you can find here and most of the people who are like uh, home grown associate that we call as shade basically we join at an entry level that's an associate position so may it be business operation associate data analytics associate data science associate or uh, it may be business technology technology solution associate so when they uh, uh, when they uh, took these person at a uh, entry level since so then then they uh, you know spend lot of energy and time on uh, Uh, make them learn the things how the industry works how the consulting works basically so the culture is very good all the people are very very helpful and they provide guidance at every point because they are also most of the people are also home grown associate and they then went to the ac level associate consultant level then consultant level they can understand the pain of a person who is coming from a college and directly joining their company so the gap between you know what we learn at the college and what we do at the firm there is a large gap and in terms of collaboration and in terms of communication everything the things are very good here and people are basically very supportive that i can surely say yep okay, okay. uh so ashish i believe these were the questions from my side and again again thanks a lot you have explained the things really well so it was my pleasure to have you here on my youtube channel but before wrapping up the video i would like to know that if you have any message any advice that you would like to give to the audience those who are preparing for the gs okay thank you soumya it was good and one thing only from me like uh, when you are appearing for the whole process mm-hmm. try to uh, 
uh, if you are uh, from if you are getting there from off campus then try to take a referral from some employee who is working there so what will happen from that referral uh, uh, basically you will get shortlisted easily you will get an extra edge in the shortlisting process from the pool of the candidates that are applying there uh, and but you don't get any extra edge on the whole interview process that is same for everyone so that is the first step you can take care of and if someone is giving you some referral kind of thing uh, if you are eligible for that as well <laughs> yep uh, so you can try over link pe approaching people over linkedin and everything and the second tip would be like try to prepare as much as possible for the case round guest mates puzzles those are the very important things uh, for the gs interview because the analytical skills the communication skills and the problem solving skills that they are very much looking after and they are also looking after how you are being a team player so try to quote some examples over there they'll surely ask you so try to uh, ref, you know reflect on that as well so these are the some steps uh, which you can follow and one last tip that i wanted to give that when you when the when there is a case round that you are discussing with that interviewer so don't be adamant with your approach you should have a uh, flexible enough to you know discuss with uh, that person basically the approach and try to make it a bit of conversation that will help you as well and that uh, the person who is interviewing as well so uh, this uh, there is a reduce the friction is less then it will be a smooth journey for you and surely you'll get an offer letter from there yeah so that i can say okay um, okay ashish so guys so this is it for this video and if you are having any doubt or you want to discuss something to ashish so i have provided his linkedin profile in the description so you can just reach out to him from there and even i mentioned his youtube channel in the description so i believe he will be uh, creating more videos recently he has started so kudos for that so yeah that's it from my side thank you everyone thank you for watching this video bye bye thank you